Hey everybody, Air Maddox here. How are y'all doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope life finds you well and happy and joyful. First, before I even start my uh, start my review here, I just want to give a an extra thanks. I don't think I properly thanked um, the Air Maddox pipe for for his giveaway, and I was kind of excited to get it and and. It was kind of a quick video, but I just want to say thank you um, for the for the giveaway. It was very generous of you to do that. I'm, I look forward to smoking those blends. I'm really excited, and it's just great uh, how people, you know, how what can I say? Just uh, it's really kind and really giving, and uh, I never take we should never take stuff like that for granted. Even though it happens, you know, this community is a really giving community. It's still a great thing, and I just wanted to just just thank you. So. Anyway, here's to you, Air Magpipe. So, all right. What I'm really here for is to do a tobacco review. And today, I'm going to be reviewing Five O'Clock Shadow by Cornell and Deal. Uh, I wasn't really going to do this um, review. Like, when I first got it, I thought, you know, it was, wasn't a big deal. There, I was actually going to do a review of another tobacco. But I have found myself just... It is one of those sleeper hits for me where I didn't really expect... It had a good review and it sounded interesting, so I got it. But it ended up being one of those ones that you just find yourself smoking all the time. Like, you just grab it. It's a really great go-to blend. So I'll, I'll read the description for you. It's pretty simple. It says... Cornell and Deal's 5 o'clock shadow. You made it. The work day is over. Celebrate with this pressed cake of Red Virginia's dark-fired Kentucky and Perique with just the right amount of kick to get you to your next destination. Five O'Clock Shadow, the Working Man series, which is cool because I consider myself old school. I consider myself a working man, you know, just, uh, I just love general labor. I just work, like working with my hands and, and working hard and sweating. And uh, I like, what, I like what, this, uh, what this stuff stands for. Uh, so anyway, it is, uh, it's a pressed cake, uh, a crumble cake, and I'll show you a picture of that here. Um, and the tin note. Hmm, how do I explain it? Kind of spicy, uh, like, yeah, like a spicy, mm, like a spicy Dorito chip, like sweet chili heat. You can smell a little bit of that. And wine, kind of a, a dry red wine. It's probably the Red Virginias. A little bit of barbecue in there as well. So, what does it taste like? Well, let me lay it up again and we'll find out. You, uh, you can taste the Red Virginias. There's that tangy Red Virginia in there come across come across as like a dry a dry red wine kind of a winey tangy it's not an aromatic like there's no like grape flavor or like you know like a wine there's none of that it's just got that tangy dry taste the dark fired is in there but it doesn't taste uh, it's not like you're smoky it's more like a barbecuey A, bar a light barbecue, smoky, yeah, barbecue, not really smoky, but barbecue. With that tang once again. And then the perique uh, just adds that kind of that, it's more of like a, a, a peppery spice, like a chili pepper spice. Now all three of those, you think like uh, Red Virginias are pretty sweet. Uh, dark fried Kentuckys are just, they're not really, they're neither here nor there. And perique can add a sweetness. But all three of these blends together, this is not sweet at all. It's a very dry wine taste. So that's interesting. Pipe's not staying lit today. Um, what else can I say about it? Yeah, there, uh, there's definitely this, um, it says this on the tin description with an extra kick. And there is, it's almost like they've added a Tabasco sauce or a horseradish, but there's no, there's no heat, no heat at all, but there's that spice that you would get. 
from a Tabasco sauce or a cayenne, that kind of a kick. I get zero bite. This is one of those blends I like to go to as well because it's very flavorful, but yet yeah, no, no bite. I could smoke this probably all the time and get no bite. And, sm and it's smokable right out of the tin. I know my pipe's not staying lit, but that, that has nothing to do with... I don't know what it is today. I think it's just the humidity. It's, when you have a humid day, just nothing you can do to keep your pipe lit except for just to keep puffing on it and not talk as much as I'm doing right now. So yeah, if you like a, a nice, uh, a nice spicy, you know, uh, if that sounds good to you, spicy, whiny, a little bit of a, a, a barbecue taste to it, but not too heavy. The preek, the amount of preek, kind of reminds me of the first thing I think of is if you've ever had old Joe Krantz. It's got that amount of preek to it. That kind of a strength that old Joe Krantz would have, but instead of having the burly, it's the Red Virginias. Nice on the rest retro hill, a little bit spicy, but not hot, not hot at all. Just a nice, like like a like a spicy Dorito, without the heat. Just spicy, tangy, flavorful. It's a great blend. I highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, five o'clock shadow by Cornell and Deal. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you on my next review or my next rant or whatever. Take it easy. Aromatics, signing out.